Singapore, home to the most iconic hotel in the world, the Marina Bay Sands. Marina Bay Sands is not just a hotel, it is a vast integrated resort that offers a diverse range of experiences. It features a casino, shopping mall, theater, museum, and it even got an indoor canal. And of course, we can't talk about Marina Bay Sands without mentioning its crown jewel, the legendary rooftop infinity pool. It spans 115 years and provides an incredible panoramic view of Singapore's cityscape. And we got to stay there. Welcome to Maria by Sands! We are in Singapore and we are going to stay two nights at Marina Bay Sands. In this video, we are going to show you what the hotel has to offer and what to see and do around Singapore's Marina Bay area. Upon arrival, we were greeted by staff and took care of our luggage. Once we step into the lobby, you understand how huge this building is. We were heading for the check-in counter but got stopped by the hotel staff. She said we can use the VIP check-in area since we are traveling with a baby. We arrived a bit earlier so our room wasn't ready yet. They said we couldn't wait for the room to get ready with a baby. So they upgraded our room for free. Our original room was a deluxe room with garden by the bay view. And now we got the premier room with city view. I'm not sure if they usually give free upgrades. The upgraded premier room itself was beyond impressive. The additional space, luxurious amenities and stunning views surpassed our initial expectations. For a non-suite standard, this room was massive. Aside from the king bed, there's a sofa space for four, a coffee table and a working desk. The bed was on a firmer side, which is how we like them. Half the room lights are controlled by the switches on the bedside. But for the other half, like floor light, bedside lamps and desk lamp, you need to get up and flick the switch on the lamp. Which is quite a bummer, but not the worst problem. Both bedside had identical universal power outlets and two USB charging ports built into the tabletop. A Nespresso machine and four capsules were on the tabletop. The TV was a new model, we didn't use it at all, other than showing us hotel info and ordering room service. The snack and beverage in the fridge was complimentary, and they got refilled daily. The room has a pretty large bathroom with a nice freestanding bathtub, double sink, shower and a toilet. The bathroom amenities were by Roberto Cavalli. In addition to the tub, there was also a generously sized shower area with built-in bench. The shops at Marina Bay Sands is a world-class shopping destination nestled within the complex. You can also take a ride on a traditional sampan boat along the enchanting indoor canal. The Rain Oculus, an eco-friendly installation comprising a 22 meter wide acrylic bowl that collects rainwater that fills the canal. Over 22,000 liters of water are released per minute from a skylight two stories overhead. Digital Light Canvas by Team Lab is an interactive digital art installation.
Rasapura food court is just next to the digital light canvas. Rasapura meaning literally city of taste. It's a collection of street food stalls offering international and local regional cuisines. On the other side of a Marina Bay Sands, you find the most iconic statue in Singapore, the Merlion. The Merlion is a mythical creature with the head of a lion and a body of a fish, and has a fountain of water spurring out to the picturesque Marina Bay. Spectra, a light and a water show, is Southeast Asia's largest light and water show, which is held at the Event Plaza at the promenade at Marina Bay. The show runs every evening and is free of charge. We decided to check out the Infinity Pool at the evening. Unfortunately, it was very windy that day, so we ended up at the bathtub instead. We had lunch on one of the restaurants at the hotel. We wanted to try a Japanese restaurant, Koma. We finally got to try the infinity pool. And let's be honest, this is why you're really here. The infinity pool is truly a majestic thing to behold. At 150 meter long and offer views of the city from 57th floor. This is the world largest rooftop infinity pool. And for those who is wondering, the pool is only exclusive to hotel guests. Each guest have to present their key card for entry. Even baby Sky got her own card. The Garden by the Bay is a nature park spanning 101 hectares, located by the Marina Bay waterfront in the heart of Singapore. We went to see the Supertree Grove. Supertree Grove is the home to the Garden by the Bay most iconic structures. These vertical gardens span 25 to 50 meters in height. The attraction is completely free, but there's an $8 entrance fee if you want to go up to the OCBC Skyway. The Garden by the Bay Light Show or the Garden Rhapsody takes place at Supertree Groove. We wanted to try something we never tried before, the room service. 
The room service was pretty decent and had a lot of options to choose from. It's our last night in Marina Bay Sands and we're gonna enjoy our time here. So we ordered some room service and now we're gonna have some family time. We had some Singaporean breakfast at Toastbox, which is located at the shops. We had to try the traditional kaya toast and kopi coffee. Art Science Museum is within the integrated resort of Marina Bay Sands and an iconic lotus-shaped landmark in Singapore. We are not art people by no means, but there was one exhibition we wanted to see. Future World where art meets science. A fully immersed interactive digital universe featuring 17 digital art installations. It's just some few hours before checkout, and we wanted to see the infinity pool one more time before we leave. And it's typical it is sunny the day we are leaving. We had an absolutely incredible experience at Marina Bay Sands. From the moment we stepped into the hotel, we were greeted with warm smiles and exceptional service. They truly went above and beyond to ensure our comfort and satisfaction. One of the highlights of this day was the unexpected room upgrade to a better and more spacious room. The level of service, the amenities, and the overall experience make it a top tier destination. If you're planning to visit, we highly recommend staying at least two nights to fully immerse yourself in everything this remarkable hotel has to offer. Although it's worth mentioning that Marina Bay Sands is very pricey. And let's not forget the iconic infinity pool. It was an absolute highlight. The breathtaking views and the feeling of being on top of the world were truly unforgettable. We hope you enjoyed watching our video and sharing in our incredible journey at Marina Bay Sands. Thank you for your continued support and we look forward to bringing you more amazing content in the future. Until then, take care and see you next time.